Well, it looks like I was a little overambitious in planting my sunflowers and wildflowers this year. I put them in the ground in late March, early April, when the weather seemed like it was turning into nice spring weather. And then it turned cold and nasty again, and things just didn't come up the way I'd hoped they would. So today I'm going to take an area where they're not coming up as well as I'd like, and I'm going to mow them down, I'm going to re-till, and I'm going to replant. So lesson learned, I should wait a little longer until I know that spring is here. It kind of hurts to mow over your hard work, but when something's coming in mediocre, you know, maybe it'll be better in the end if we just start fresh and start all over again. It's my hope anyway. Now my roadside wildflowers are doing really, really well. I've got these cosmos that are about 18 inches tall. And mixed within them are sunflowers that I didn't even plant. These are just seeds from last winter that fell off the heads and planted themselves. So I'm really happy with how things look along the road. But inside the fence is a whole different story. If you watched my earlier video from this spring, which you can find in the upper corner here, I rototilled this area and I spread sunflower much thinner than I had done in the past, thinking it would yield larger plants. But you can see it's really spotty. But at this point, I'm gonna leave those. Now my other areas, this is a late planting of sunflower and they're coming up kind of spotty too. I'm gonna to leave those, but just beyond that, where Sophie is over there, that's a patch of sunflower that's mostly weed. So I'm going to mow them over and we'll just replant. I guess I should clarify and use the plural when I say mostly weeds, not mostly weed. Just in case you're thinking something different, so long, sunflowers. Switch over to the tiller. Doesn't get much easier than that. it. Well, that's almost it. Don't forget to pick up your kickstand.
All right, well, I got this big old bucket of sunflower seed and I'm just gonna spread it out. A broadcast cedar would be nice. But this technique works pretty well. Alright, this is just black oil sunflower seed, so my philosophy is that if only 10% of these seeds sprout, we'll have a nice field of sunflowers. Well, I've got the tiller set up to till just a couple inches deep, and I'm just going to till these seeds in. The birds are going to eat probably 25% of these seeds, and then again, if just 10% of what's left, I can't do the math, but it's a lot of seeds, so uh, I think they'll sprout. Now I did this same thing about a week and a half ago in another small test plot. And within a week, week and a half, I started to see sunflower sprouts coming up. So that big area, we should see that happening also within a week. In fact, that's a sunnier area, so they should do even better than the ones that I planted here. Hey, if you like this video or my other videos, be sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and tap that little bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.